Well, I've got to try and repair this uh, window frame. This is um, a Talisman GX Auto Sleeper. And this um, window frame has come away in that corner. And it's been repaired before. Someone's tried to fill it in with some kind of mastic and it hasn't it hasn't done the job because they used the wrong stuff they used a soft mastic and the, there was no screws or anything fixing it on because the wood on the inside of the frame has rotted away not all of it just some of it especially in this corner Now I don't know how to get this window frame out. We'll go inside and we'll have a look. Oh, it's a bit dark. Put this light on. Doesn't make much difference. Try this one. And this one. Right, well what I've started to do is take this piece off by removing these screws that I can find along here. Now these obviously go right through into a piece of wood and that piece of wood feels pretty firm. If you put your hand, you know, your fingers, if you put your fingers up there, where is it? Which side? That side. You can't, can't see anything there, but you can feel rotten wood crumbling away. But how are you supposed to get this frame out? And the curtains, you know, you, you'd expect to be able to get the curtains out to wash them, but I can't see how any of this works. So I'm just going to have to uh, take screws out as I find them. And all this cupboard, all this cupboard up here, looks like that's got to come out. Which means all this, but I don't know really. I can feel a, a bracket there behind there, but there's no screw in that side of it. But there is no screw in against this, but there is against that. So I'll just carry on taking these screws out and see where I'll go. For now, that'll do. I found another screw just there. And then there's another one up there so take them out see what happens right there's a screw there now that screw you can feel that from the other side, you can get your hand behind that. That screw should be going into a piece of wood, but the wood's rotten and the screw just goes into nothing. I don't know if there's any more. I 
I can't see any more screws. There's, there's probably one in the bottom of there somewhere. Underneath there. So far, so good. You can see the piece of wood there now. Let's put my torch on. Now that piece of wood should go all the way round. But it doesn't. It starts to rot there, look. It starts to go rotten there. And all up that side. It's gone rotten. And the closer to the top you get, the more rotten it is. So, the next thing is that screw there. And there's another one up there, I think. I've got to take them out, and that, that piece comes out with it by the look of it. That bit of trim comes out with the frame. Now, I've had to take the, the um, tie back for the curtain out of the way, which was there. And there's a, a screw I've got to take out there to free this panel from that piece. That bit there, that screw I've taken out, um, it doesn't actually allow me to get anything else out. So I'll have to... Uh, there's the top one. I have to take that one out as well. Well, that wasn't too bad. Once I'd got the side screws out and the ones along the bottom there, this bit here just uh, just started to slide down. So I just pulled it down and forward as much as I could and um, it's just come out just like that so that job is not as bad as you first think I don't know whether I'll be able to uh, get to any wood underneath there I'll have to come back to that in a minute There's a better look at the rock. Uh, luckily, I've only got to replace this bit up the side because the piece at the top hasn't got any rot in it. And all I've got to do is um, reposition the, the um, these little aluminium brackets at the top just screw them into some uh, into a clean piece of wood but once this piece down the side is fixed the whole window is going to be cured I'll have to take the frame out obviously I'll have to take the um, actual window frame out because it's got the wrong sort of sealer in it, so I'm going to have to clean all that out and then um, put it back in with a suitable sealer.
but that'll cure it, that'll fix it for good. Well, fix it for another 20 years, hopefully. <laughs> Well, the frame's out. You can see the remnants of the sealer that was on there. And this is how sticky it is. It's a soft, softish sealer. That's the original, I suppose. And the, the, all those black bits around the edge are where someone sealed it up with, with a, some kind of silicon sealer, I suppose. So I've got to clean all that off. And then if we go inside, The bottom, bottom piece of the frame removed, there's a rotten bit there, but that was all stuck on there and it actually st st um, screws onto this, this bit here, you can see it on that side, but it screws through that onto there so I shall be putting some new screws in that. Um, I'll be doing a repair to this end. The rest of it's okay. Um, now this bit here is probably alright if I just move the clamps along a little bit. I don't really want to have to take that bit out, but it's mainly it's mainly okay. And then that bit up the top. I think I can uh, safely use that bit again. Right, come back later. This piece is the sill, window sill and the lower part of the frame and it has to be stuck to the window frame in there and it's supposed to be level with the top there, so I shall put some uh, some high modulus adhesive sealer on the back of that, and then I'll clamp that to there until it's gone off. That's just a little piece I've put in. Focus. That's just a little strip I've put in to bring this original bit out to the edge of the frame because it was a bit, it was set too far in and one of the screws had split through the edge of it, one of the screws for a clamp. So uh, I've just put that in just as a little repair piece. I've cleaned all the muck from around the frame. 
That took me a couple of hours to get that off with thinners and and then uh, a rubbing compound. Come back to it later. All the wooden framework is in place now and it's bonded in. I'm just um, leaving it clamped up for 24 hours or so. So the uh, adhesive has time to cure properly. And then in will go the window frame. Right, just show you the the new wood up, up the side there and, uh, and this along the bottom. That's how it's clamped in. And then I've just got to put this frame back which is quite easy you just fit it on there in place and then screw it in